spotted my op. A bot. Op for last op. Op pushing upstairs. He's op like four HP. Bomb, but defend it. No. What's up guys? Today we're doing an operator guide on how to play as Maestro. Maestro is going to have three Maestro cans with longer batteries. He has a crazy LMG, a bailiff to make rotates, impact grenade. He is an entire crazy kit. And today we're going to talk about how to play best as Maestro. Let's get to it. Let's go through his loadout first. Do you have the Alda or the ACS-12? This has a 1.5 or 2x option. It shoots bolties. It kind of functions like a DMR. Uh, fire is pretty slow but it does do a lot of damage. But then you also have Izalda, the only defending LMG in the game. And uh, it has insane fire rate with decent damage and it has like, what, 80 bullets? There's literally not much of a reason not to run this gun. I feel like this is probably the strongest gun on defense. If I had to choose one, you can only have a 1X, sure, but it is a crazy good gun. There's a reason why they took his ACOG away up on this. Then you have a different uh, choice between the Keratos and the Bailiff. I definitely choose the Bailiff more for the utility making. I just want to, you know, making utility. It's pretty nice. We have rotates, line of sight, etc. Then you have a couple choices between barbs, observation blocker, and impacts. Most of the time, I'm going to run impacts because on the fly, it's just a super useful tool. If no one else is bringing barbed wire, you do have that option of bringing barbed wire if you need it and you still want to play Maestro. Most of the time, I'm going to be rocking the impacts though. Now let's talk about Maestro's ability, the Evil Eye. So you're going to have three of these come Operation Deep Freeze. Place them down like so. You move it around and when you, you can open it and shoot a beam that does do damage to operators. And it can also be used to destroy drones. If you use an entire battery in deep freeze, you will be able to down a free armor operator from 100 health down to zero. So it's super strong. And you're gonna have three of them. Let's talk about where to place these. You definitely wanna place them in positions where you can just have a general overview of basically everything that's going on. Cause it functions like a bulletproof cam or a Valkyrie cam, just a little bit stronger. Cause to destroy it, they have to use an explosive or Bravo can hack it. Bravo can't hack these, so that is one thing you do need to look out for. But if an attacker walks up to one, they can't destroy it by shooting it or anything. They are able to melee it. So if you go on the camera, now you won't be able to see anything, but you can open the glass and still shoot things wherever they're at, you're good to go. But, uh, Every time you open the glass, you uh, attacker, anyone is are able to shoot the evil eye. It's going to have an opening that is going to be vulnerable. It will you know, just shoot one bullet into it and, it and it will destroy it. So you do need to be careful opening the glass. But a lot of times, uh, if, it, if it's melee like this, you won't be able to use it effectively. But one thing that, that is good is that you can still use the audio on it. So a lot of times, if I'm, if I'm going to have three cameras, I'm going to be placing one that's still in the attacker's way that they have to end up dealing with like let's say like one like right here uh i don't i want it like yeah that's fine actually it's right there so chances are they'll probably melee this one but you can still call out the audio and if you need to you can open it to shoot so like when you die you are not going to you will be able to get on the camera but you won't be able to open the camera so you can still use it to call off audio if you have a decent headset like that what I'm using the HyperX Cloud 2s. I can call out if someone is on the new balcony. I can call when they're like starting to push forward, etc. Just just based on the audio. But if I am alive, let's say they're pushing into cigar and I just like, you know, I can open it every now and then, zap them a little bit. I mean, if they end up destroying the camera, that's that's fine. Doing a little bit of damage goes a long way, especially late in the rounds, because when people are starting to get chipped, I mean, all it takes is an impact and sometimes you win the round. All right, now let's talk about a normal round of main show. During prep, you're setting your cameras. You're making rotates for your team. Pretty simple stuff. Make the rotates as you want, as your team's going to want. I like the lasers, so I don't have to aim in and I'm going to do exactly what I needed to do on the bailiff. Reinforce the walls, etc. And then during the round, I'll position myself in a, a, a spot that's pretty easy to like, you know, hold like either like on wide staircase or I'll be 
like over over here on top of this desk and then uh, i can just use the cameras keep general overview i'm not really in any danger here because they drop sky i will see them and i can defend myself and i can just keep general overview and give out calls to my team on what what's going on and what's happening cameras oh the major cams are really useful especially late round when everybody is kind of tickled down and you can just start zapping people like this camera will win you a lot of games because a lot of times when people are start, actually start pushing in they're worried more about your teammates so you can actually get a couple shots on them and i mean every beam does five damage so just a couple beams if someone's lit from late round you might actually kill them with your evil eye you're gonna get a lot more kills with the evil eye than you think and uh yeah i just when it comes to the alda i mean this thing is a monster long reload time though so you do have to be careful of how much you are shooting but when i'm using the alda let's say i'm trying to hold off this area one thing that i will do is i will pre-fire a lot more than i think i need to getting ready for anyone to swing me and push into an area where i can get a safe reload if anyone pushes me in those moments i mean you swap the bailiff it will take down literally anything that comes in your way if they're super close range so honestly Mace is a goliath he has a lot of killing potential he has a lot of just general overwatch and he's a crazy operator and now let's go through some clips of me playing as maestro and show off the alda a little bit all right now let's go through some maestro clips so here i'm defending i'm in a 1v3 situation but i mean i have the alda so i'm not too worried we take out the first one we check the staircase we do see another one coming back through drums so we keep our gun up i'm not sure where the other guy is always have your gun up the alda has very slow ads speed so most of the time you're going to want to be really ready to go prior to an enemy getting there one thing i like about the alda having a bunch of bullets is don't be afraid to pre-fire it'll pay off so here they start to flash in i swing out we take the kill and I'm pushing into piano. It's a 1v1 situation. So now I'm going to turn up the audio a little bit so you guys can hear this. You guys clearly hear those feet. I'm not sure if, if you heard it, but I clearly hear feet going to the master rotate as I swing like a 50 50. So a 50 50 is when you have to look right or left. And if you have to choose one or the other, I mean, if you guess wrong, you might get shot on the side or the back. So I like to swap between the angles until I get an audio cue that, okay, I know what side he's on now. So now I know that he's master rotate. We swing back, we win the fight out. So here, this is, this is a pretty funny round. This is showing off the power of the Elda. Free fire. Obviously you guys can see that I can't really see anything there, but he has to be on that door. And if he does peek this, well, not his ass. That's a one tap right there, baby. That's one a one tap. tap. All right. So now we're at Chalet again. We're uh, in the bar. I hear someone near the door. So I swing out. One thing a little bit of the Alda, 900 fire rate with this much damage. And I have a ton of bullets. You can just pre-fire out. Chances are, I mean, at worst case scenario, you're going to put a lot of bullets into them before you go down. Just make sure you keep your crosser up and be ready for a fight. So I heard one come from short here. Let's go through that again. Yes. I hear one come through short. And I mean, you can punch a hole through the wall and have plenty of ammo left to go. Even if I only have like, let's say 20 bullets in this gun, that's still more than some of the defending SMGs, especially with these stats. Like, I'm not afraid about punching in a hole in the wall with the LMG and just seeing who I can get after the fact. So here, we're using the evil eyes. I have one above on Villa uh, in the study room, and I have one bottom main staircase. So I can see if anyone walks into study, as well as if anyone's pushing me. No, I'm playing on the main staircase. I hear that they're one pushing the site, so I swing out to deal with the guys in study. Free fire early. I even run out. And I start to aim low because if he's crouched, I'm going to go for a headshot. But if he's standing, well, I'm just going to body him down. And I just start pre-firing like crazy because obviously I'm detected. And we do take him down. And I know the last one is probably 90. So, I only, again, I only have 19 bullets. I didn't reload in any of those two kills. I'm, I still have the same mag. But you're good. It doesn't matter. Oh, baby, Maestro! 
The Alda is a crazy gun. The Evil Eyes, I mean, even even without the gun, if you add a weaker gun, it's still incredibly useful because those bulletproof cams, like, you have three of them. But let's let's compare Maestro to Valkyrie really quick. Maestro has three cameras. That, Valkyrie also has three cameras, right? Valkyrie can place hers anywhere in space. I mean, Maestro can place his anywhere that he can act physically get to and place them down. So, advantage, kind of a, real, a slightly Valkyrie for that, but still about the same. Maestro cams cannot be shot with the with a gun unless it's open shooting lasers at something. Valkyrie's gonna be shot with one bullet, and you know, super easy, to, super easy to see the Maestro cams versus the Valkyries, but still, like in terms of destroying the Maestro cams, even if you know that know it's there, it's still harder to deal with in the general grand scheme of things. And uh, I mean. Honestly, I'm probably going to lean to main Maestro coming uh, Deep Freeze because this intel combined with the fact that you have this crazy damn gun. This gun has always been a good thing. It just people just don't like, didn't think that Maestro's cams were really good. But getting an additional camera makes it so much better because you're going to be able to have intel and everything. Let's just see, say I'm holding bar here, for example. I can put one, let's say, on the blue staircase top main to watch the lobby and then hell i can even place one like in the bar too because why not i have literally intel on literally everything near this site or around the site and even if the attackers know the, know it's there what are they going to do about it you're, you're, you're gonna brava hack it i mean maybe you, you you are able to do that but if i'm on my cameras i can still defend my i can defend myself with the, <laughs> with my cams and you know how many defenders run around with impact grenades, even if they do hack that evil eye, it's super easy to deal with. I mean, I'm set up the site, so all the defenders should still have at least one impact uh, if, if they brought impact. So like here, it's me and Legion. If they if they hack one of the cameras, we can just both individually run up to them and destroy them. So it's not as big of an issue for the hacking, but honestly, Meisho's super strong. <laughs> all right, that's it today on my operator got for Maestro. I definitely see Maestro being one of the strongest operators coming to Deep Freeze with the three cameras. It's all the impact. Like everything about Maestro is going to be incredibly strong. I definitely, personally, if I don't plan on playing Maestro for a game, I'm probably going to end up banning him or focusing on someone playing Brava. Because Brava is a very hard counter because it, it can take the cameras fairly easily. So you do need to be on lookout. Remember, Maestro cams can shoot those Brava cams, but Brava just has to scan the cam once and then get behind cover and you'll still take the Maestro cam and then the cam is hers. But Maestro does have impact, so if that does happen, you can destroy that Maestro cam super easily. So that's not too much of a concern. Uh, if you leave Maestro up, you should definitely uh, leave Brava up because it, it may become an annoyance if, let's say Maestro's up and Brava's banned. How are you going to deal with those Maestro cams? Grenades, you can't cook them, so they're really hard to destroy the evil eyes on walls. Uh, Ash can destroy them, Zofia, maybe Kali, but there aren't that many op I mean, Sledge, if you walk up close, it's Hammer it, or Maverick if you walk up close, but again, if you have to walk that close to one, it starts to become a little dangerous. So not many hard counters uh, to the evil eyes other than a Brava, who is a very hard counter to the, to the evil eyes. But yeah, that's... That's it for Maestro. Maestro is an incredible op. You're going to drop a bunch of kills. He's a tank. And you're going to have a lot of intel. So can't really go wrong with bringing Maestro in Operation Deep Freeze and beyond. So, all right, guys. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like down below for more. And uh, let me know what operator you guys want to see next time. Peace out. Let's go.